Before attempting to remove the unit's motor and remove the blower wheel, be sure to turn off the power source to the unit and shut off the circuit at the main electrical panel. Carefully remove the front panels of your furnace using a nut driver. Be sure to keep the nuts close by for putting the panels back on when finished. Unplug the wiring harnesses connected to the blower wheel housing. Remove screws attaching the blower wheel housing to the unit. Keep the screws close by for reattaching the housing. Carefully pull the blower wheel housing out of the unit. Set the housing on its side with the motor shaft facing up. Using an open end adjustable wrench, loosen the set screw on the wheel hub. Carefully turn the housing over onto its side so that the bottom of the motor is exposed. Using a nut driver, adjustable wrench, or socket wrench, remove the motor mount. Carefully lift the motor from the housing and set it to the side with the shaft facing up. Loosen the housing's baffle by removing the screws attaching it to both sides. Slide the blower wheel out of the housing. Measure the diameter and width of the wheel and determine the wheel's rotation so that you can purchase a proper replacement wheel. Also, be sure to note how the wheel was facing in the housing so that you can put the replacement wheel in the same direction. Purchase a replacement blower wheel with the same dimensions and rotation as your original. Carefully insert the new blower wheel into the housing in the same direction as the original. Reattach the baffle. Place the motor back into the wheel with the shaft down. Secure the motor mounting bracket onto the housing. Tighten the set screw of the wheel's hub on the flat side of the motor shaft using a T-wrench. After the motor has been secured, Place the housing back into the unit and reattach the housing to the unit. Attach all wires back to their original connection. Place the front panels back on the unit and secure with original screws. After completing these steps, turn the power source to the furnace unit back on and make sure that it is running properly. If you experience any problems, immediately turn the power source off.